Hey, welcome back to my summary for day 17. Something I've forgotten to mention is that I've been adding my ride with GPS data. You'll find a link to a public URL down in the description below. Back to my ride. I got away at about seven, and after a few minutes of riding on sealed roads, it was back on to the West Coast Wilderness Trail. The trail up to and around the water reservoirs are smooth and easy going. There was hardly a breath of wind, which gave me mirror-like reflections in the water of the stunning scenery. The photo behind me is from that morning, and what a stunning way to start the day. I was hoping for a big fry-up breakfast when I got to Cowboy Paradise. However, when I arrived, there was nothing available. There was just a guy washing up after a large group of tourists who had just left. The route down from Cowboy Paradise has a heap of little switchbacks, I was actually hoping for a more direct route. When I got down onto Milton Road, I could see a large group of tourists riding slowly ahead of me on e-bikes. For some reason, I stepped on the gas and blasted through them like a bat out of hell. I don't really know why, but it did feel good. After a short week climb, Lake Canary pops into view. I stopped to take some more photos as this is yet another amazing scenic spot. The trail then follows an old gold miners water race for a bit, and it's only about 25 kilometres on roads and trails all the way down to Hokitika, where I finally got to stop for a big feed. While in Hokitika, I stopped in at a local bike shop to buy a new cycle vest, and I got chatting to the guy around the place about how he supports the TA each year. There are more good trails on the way to Ross, which is great because it keeps you off State Highway 6 for most of the way. However, most of the 44 kilometres from Ross to Harihari is on State Highway 6. There's about a quarter of it on gravel roads, but even the State Highway is quite picturesque where it runs through the native bush. On the way, I stopped at Lake Lanthi, Matahi, to take a few more photographs. You know, I think I need some more synonyms for the words picturesque and beautiful scenery. When I arrived at Harihari, I called ahead to Wataroa to book some accommodation but I found that everywhere was closed. I think this was due to COVID restrictions or staff shortages. So I stayed the night at the pub in Harihari, where I also had a good meal. Today had felt quite relaxing, with stunning West Coast scenery, not too much elevation, and pretty easy cycle pathways to follow. I often thought I could be taking more time at some of those scenic spots. But to be honest, the amount of stunning scenery along the way was already overwhelming me. I was also noticing that my body was adapting pretty well to the long riding each day. It appeared that as long as I kept fueling myself, I could just keep riding. Thanks again for watching. Hey, and remember, I would really love to hear from you. So leave a comment down below. Give me a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I hope you can join me for tomorrow's video, which is the ride to Haast. Bye for now.